I should make a video montage of hitboxes lasting way longer than they make any sense. Shit, that's actually a bad gem to miss. There just isn't really a good angle to uh, to jump and charge through that. It, it's a small time loss going for it, but yeah. So ordered, let's go, Pug Champ. I don't know that it's bullying necessarily, too, but I think you're a Twitch influencer now. You've convinced everyone that there's a better word than PogChamp. I should have known. I don't know why I didn't see it coming. I should have known. <laughs> Go. I need that. <laughs> nope, jump. There you go. Very good. <clears throat> oh, that sucks, Gull. Well, Dolph, in case you missed it, I got Lamp Hop. 
So this is it. This is world record. We've got to do it now. If if this isn't world record, I'm retiring from speedrunning and video games forever. You can hold me to that. <laughs> no, it's fine. You won't even have to because there's no chance this won't be a world record. I'm calling it now. It's easy to see. It's easy to see. We're fine. Well, please. Nope, please. <laughs> Look, we're fine. It's fine. <laughs> Almost didn't make that, but we got it. Didn't spend all those points to not see OO fists. This doesn't world record, I'll retire from video games and speedrunning just as soon as I catch up on all my stream redemptions, how about that? For sure. Ah, of course, yes.
we're gonna lose a chunk of time here. I messed up a bit, but it was okay. It was an okay stone hill. Oh. Oh. I lost less time than I thought. Yeah, okay. That was a good stone hill. Remind me, what is the average rate of getting channel points? Assuming you're getting the bonuses and everything. Like, like points per hour, roughly. What, what do you expect as subs, also? Because it's just occurring to me, if I stream, like, 70 hours... Uh, to do a solo 1545 at some point. How many channel points are my subs getting, assuming they just, like, open a window with my stream and leave it on the whole time? Someone want to just quickly multiply 440 by 70? 70? 70's probably, well, I don't know. I have no idea how long it'll take. I guess makes sense, I don't know. I guess it's not like I wasn't expecting the answer to be a bunch. Yeah, no, I got that golf. that much time there in PB. I knew my Artisans was pretty mediocre in that PB, but I, I, I wasn't sure where all of the time saved and time lost was. Gomas, sub 13. I don't have to reset. lower there.
Pretty good, pretty good. I want to say Dry Canyon and Cliff Town both went really well. I had a really good Peacekeepers in PB, actually. I remember that now. I think I lost like 15 seconds to Best Sex in Peacekeepers, which is insanely good. So, do not expect to keep pace here. Oops. Okay, no, that's fine. Tree tops. That was silly. That was very, very silly. Have I ever done that before, actually? <laughs> that might be a new one. Oh, shit. I. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> come on, come on. No! Oh god, I'm getting, I'm getting all flustered after that mistake. Okay, okay, we're back on track, we're back on track. We're back on track! We're fucking dead. God damn it. Ah, oh, that is such a big time loss. I hate when that happens. Okay, we're, we're facing time loss in Dry Canyon, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. If I do it again, it, uh, it might be, but... Okay, interesting flop there. But we're fine. <sighs> that jump really isn't worth it. <laughs> it's very dumb that I go for that. seconds here, I think. Not the end of the world, though. This can still, still PB sub 140 by a ton. I mean, I do think my movement's pretty solid right now. I do think I'm moving really well. Big mistakes like that are not indicative of bad play, necessarily.
Oh, okay. I did not think that flame was going to hit the pot there. Kind of surprised that worked. I thought the, uh, that enemy's hitbox was going to be right in the way. Get! Seriously. Speaking of hitboxes getting in the way, that, uh, that's a new one. Going right through that chest like that. These are tough splits to run against. Almost all of my time save is late in the game. But I do have a lot late in the game. Because it's like more than 30 in Misty Bog, more than 40 in Lofty and Jacques, and then more than 30 in Loot. So I, I really need to play for a while before having a sense of, uh, of if I can PB or not. Which, I mean, I guess that's true anyway, just because of what my, uh, what my best eggs are like. God damn it. Where is the bird? What? How? There. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is really bad. <laughs> I'm losing a bunch of time on these birds. The bird is the word, yeah. We did keep this run going, yeah. is on its way. Let's go. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to take this run as far as I can, and if it falls apart, I'll make dinner and then stream again later tonight. I'll, I'll try to take this one for a while. I like that flame strat. Still keep doing that very stupid charge jump there. No, not pizza. Uh, I'm gonna make a frozen thing. I, I bought a few frozen dinners the other day. I got a um, Stouffer's, I think it's Salisbury Steak and Mac that I, I like okay. And I also bought some, uh, one of those like mixed fruit bowls that I might have some of with it. Excuse me? Flame, where were you? I needed you, bud. saving a little time here. You almost 
dropped the pizza. Golf. Gotta be careful with pizza. You drop it and it's on the floor. That's the thing about pizza. My flame's not happening. What am I doing wrong? Disaster was averted. I'm happy. Okay, hopefully I can get snowball enemy to do the right thing. Yep, good. It's a little hard to get that snowball enemy right that way. You gotta, uh, there's a loose green gem a little earlier in that area that can be easy to jump past. But if you can land on it just right, uh, and keep moving, that's unfortunate. I gotta remember that later. But if you can land on that green and keep moving quickly through that area, that snowball guy should do exactly what he did. Uh, the, it's not that big enough. Oh. I, I go back through that area later anyway, I just need to remember it. Uh oh. Uh, okay, maybe? We'll see. I don't usually get an actual bonk on that hole, but yeah, that worked out. Okay. I wasn't sure where that skiing orc was going to end up. That was my uh-oh there. But he did fine. so I could use another life. It's a bad flame charge. I mean, the flame charge was fine. Usually when you flame charge that, you'd like to hit the dragon at the same time, and it's unfortunate that I didn't. It's not too, too terrible, just, uh, I don't know, maybe half a second. Two step. Oh, almost. Dang. This two step is so hard to get. Should be flame charging that chest, I think. Oops, okay. Good. Good. Good ice cavern. That's not true. There are a lot of things that you do not want to flame charge. Just be flame charging the whole time. Just constantly. If you're not flame charging, what are you even doing? Oh yeah, we had a bad end of Peacekeeper segment, so there's a tiny bit more time saved there as well. Okay. This isn't the end of the world. It's sub-30. It's not my best pace. It's not my worst.
as I recall, basically all of Magic Crafters went really well too. So expect more time loss. But again, it's not the end of the world. Hello. I guess my first flame didn't connect on that. I thought it did. Um. Really? What are you doing? I was gonna say I should have some time saving Alpine, but I might have just lost most of it. That was pretty bad. I guess it wasn't terrible. I probably lost like three seconds there. Oh yeah, some of the achievements in SRT are a little silly like that. Does SRT have... What are you doing? Get out of here. Does SRT have an achievement for getting those extra lives in Ice Cavern? I don't remember. A lot of my turning right now feels real weird. I was watching a casual Spyro streamer for a bit the other day. They were playing the one of the prototypes, and I had forgotten that in that prototype they had put gems on that platform where the lives ended up in the final build. And I, I was just thinking, I, I'm glad they made that change to put lives there, and I wish there were more optional platforming things like that in the game, because that, that's really cool, and there's not really much else like that. Something where you could easily finish the game getting everything and still not know how to get there. Yeah, we're losing time here. This has been a pretty bad Alpine. Most of the second half of it went well, but the start of it was not good. If you're centered on that chest when you charge through it, it's pretty easy to just stop, turn around, and jump and collect most of those gems in the air. But I was too far to the right, so it didn't really work out. Crap. 
crap. Bad bonks, bad bonks. Time loss reset. Get out of there. I, I definitely can't catch the cycle. What? What the fuck was that? Ah, oh, shit. That's like 10 seconds right there. <sighs> okay, okay. Yeah. Oh well. Happens. Are you fucking serious? Just get the chest. That's really dumb. I don't know where my jump went. Again, though, no, I'm, I'm gonna keep this going. Gonna keep it going as long as we can. That's unfortunate. Still though, I mean like I said earlier, I feel like I am playing pretty well right now. The mistakes I'm making are big in terms of time loss, but in terms of the kinds of mistakes they are, they're small things. <sighs> they're just small things at like the most inopportune time. That's such a weird thing about time loss and speedrunning. You can... Sometimes it can feel like you're massively messing up when if you made those same mistakes in other places, they would barely lose time. Like, the same way number of deaths is not a good representation of, uh, of a speedrun in N++, because dying, like, ten times on a ten second long level is obviously much, much less bad than dying once at the end of CFL, for example. It just, it depends on where the mistakes happen, not what they are. And in terms of
terms of what they are right now, I feel like my mistakes aren't actually that bad. I just gotta keep hoping that, uh, that I don't keep making them at terrible times. up anything terribly this level so far? I guess I... yeah, I was futzing around with the wall druid before the level. Oh, and I, I missed the supercharge the first lap. Never mind. Yeah, this isn't great. It's not terrible, it's just not... I was just thinking about whether or not I could gold this, and I don't think I can. It'll be close, but, uh, but no, not quite. Yeah. Good wizard peak. Not perfect. Hey, Aqua. Mod to bring Hunter into Spyro 1 when? What would Hunter accomplish in Spyro 1? What, what would you want that mod to consist of? Does he just replace the dragon in Stone Hill who tells you how to glide? Every dragon is Hunter. Oh god. Every dragon is Hunter, and all of the thank you for releasing me dragons are replaced with Hunter talking about your, your shift at Subway. Oh, if I could, I would, Aqua. <laughs> it's a very gross image golf. <laughs> It's not that hard to find if you want to find it. <laughs> you can just Google keywords around it. But, uh... Yeah. There, there's a very not-safe-for-work fan art image of, uh... related to Spyro and Spyro 3 characters working at Subway. <laughs> Was it Hero's Tale? Maybe. I don't know. I just remember it having Spyro and Hunter and Bird. I don't know who else is in it. I've also never played Hero's Tale, so it's possible it had characters from that and I just didn't notice. So it's up, so it's down. There we go. No, why? But yeah, it's become a bit of a, a meme in the Spyro community. Just one of those, like, why would anybody make this kind of memes. It's a good blowhard. The internet was a mistake. You're right. 
Also, you know what? I'm getting a 45 in Magic Crafters. That's not that bad. I know I've made mistakes, and I've been a little sad by them, but th this isn't bad. This run is very far from dead. 138 is probably dead at this point. That'll be hard, but, uh... Yeah. Muzz, I'm honestly a little surprised you haven't before. <laughs> Not that, like, I think you'd be into that or anything, but, like, given how long you've been Spyro community adjacent, I thought you would have seen it by now. Also, yeah, I don't know what Tales comic you're talking about. Missed the other one. Good old 4chan said no one ever. Oh, this is gonna be close, actually. I gotta... Be a little careful here. Also, I've never done that before, and I should be, I think. 4chan's great. Wow. Yeah, Muzz. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, it's not like it made a big difference. That was still a very good terrace. Oop. Turned way too hard there. Oh, that's... An interesting one to hit. The front and the uh, the back one, but not the middle one. That, that's that's new for me, I think. I like to try to hit all three of the fireworks chests on that log, but. Eh. We enter Wild Flight at the bottom of the portal, which is the fastest way to do it. Call my Misty. Misty. My Wild Flight was not great. Misty was also really bad. We've got a bunch of time sits there, but Wild Flight I lost like six or seven seconds on. No promise about getting that time save in Misty. It's a hard level. I lost time there for a reason. 
think I died three times there in my PB, but they were all small deaths. But, like, dying three times is just never good. <laughs> That was good. That was very good. Wow. Nice. Yeah, it, uh... I think I lost it on pre-level movement stuff. Or lost most of it, anyway. Dog, please. I try so hard for you. Let's just go ahead and do that. Good. Oh my god, I nearly missed that Nork. It's funny how every enemy in Misty Bog is really hard in their own way. <gasps> I did the Laura Strat! Let's freaking go. I didn't, it's true. Um, seriously? God, those frogs lined up really poorly. But yeah, the frogs can uh, can be a pain with how far away they can be and still hit you. The uh, boars can be a little weird with how they uh, how they turn towards you. The plants are seemingly random when they'll jump at you because it's like. They start shaking to, you know, prepare to go at you when you get somewhat close to them. But sometimes they'll just shake forever and never actually come at you, and sometimes they will just dive at you from a mile away. And it makes no sense, so you gotta just be on your toes whenever you're anywhere near those. And the Norks, if you charge past them and miss one, it's really easy for them to hit you when you do that. So yeah, there are four kinds of enemies in this level, and they're all dangerous. <laughs> nice. The plants are being pretty tame this time, though. Which is lucky. Lucky, lucky. Seriously? Frogs? I'm not a fan of this. Yeah, I see you. You don't get to do that to me, frog. <sighs> okay, that was good. It's a good Misty. I don't know, might not gold, but it saves time. Yeah, not quite gold. Saved a bunch of time there. Hey, John. What's the sick thing? Is it the early plane tutorial you made? Because I did see that. And it was pretty sick.
better than the first video? Ooh -wee. Um. Actually, no, I can't watch it right now. <laughs> I'm on a good run. <laughs> and I don't want to, uh... Nice! I got the... Hmm! <laughs> We're nice. Things are nice right now. We're not even dead. Look at that. Uh... Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. That was bad, but we're good. We're very good. We're supremely good right now. The best we've ever been. I will watch it after, uh, hey, after this run, though. Did I? I did not get that. I didn't think so. <sighs> I am way more tense than I need to be. <laughs> Maybe it's because, despite being on a very good pace, uh, I'm still well aware that I have choked many good pace runs at the end. <laughs> Which to an extent should make me more comfortable, because I don't, even now, I don't really have any expectations that I'm gonna PB. <laughs> Just because I've been in this place before, and I know there's a really good chance I won't. And that's okay. I still plan on streaming again after dinner. It's not like this is the last run I'm going to be able to do or anything. Those are good treetops. Uh, where am I going? Actually, this has been a really good Beast Makers so far. I'm happy. Oh my god. What? Okay, I only glanced at that for a second, but if I read that right, I've lost like two seconds to my best segs across Beastmakers so far. <laughs> Granted, it's because most of my golds aren't very good, but still. That can't be right. I must have misread that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There are a couple of places in the game you can do that where... Hey. Where you, uh... Get, like, squeezed against a wall. And if you charge and jump against it, you'll just get pushed right through it. Hey, I wanted both of yous. Uh, no, it's not a proxy. Actually, could you call it a proxy? I don't think so. It's not the effect that a proxy normally... Like, it's not the effect you normally think of with a proxy, is the thing. A proxy is, like, you get squeezed upwards. But, like, it is Spyro's hitbox getting stuck somewhere and getting ejected away from it at high speed. It's just that that high speed is enough to clip through a wall. And it's not upwards. <laughs> I can't catch that. I think maybe by some definition you could call it a proxy. Most people would not.
What is metalhead steel? I don't know, what do you mean? Are you asking that, like, is metalhead in a relationship right now? I don't know. Oh, like, what's his beef? Well, he's big and made of metal. So I can't imagine that life is easy. No beef, he's robotic. He's very clearly made of metal and no meat. Hence, there is no beef. But get up there. Get up there! I need you. I was worried I missed a gem earlier, and I just wanted to glance real quick. Rather do it now, bef rather than before I leave the level. Someone Beastmakers when? No. Never. Actually, as I recall, that should be a best split time. Because I think... My PB, that was best split time by like 0.2 seconds or something. Get. Mm. Also, I've been saying this every run, but I just want to say it again, make sure everybody's aware. Don't get attached to how this run is going right now, because I'm about to enter Haunted Towers, where I do a route that can very easily lose a bunch of time, so. We, we very well might lose, like, 50 seconds right here. movement is really bad. Oh my god. G why? <laughs> okay, the kinds of mistakes I'm making are not the reason that I might lose a bunch of time here. Yeah, no. That's whatever. That's also not the big time loss that I was worried about. It's some time loss. But that's not end of the world time loss. <sighs> but if nothing else goes wrong, we're probably still only losing, like... 15 seconds here so far. Oh, actually, I messed up that enemy before the level started, so maybe a little more. Hey. Hey. Seriously? That's... that's not a good sign. Not a good start to these flame charges. Okay, okay, that's... that's better. Gimme. A little turned around there, but that's okay. That gem collection went good enough. Do 
the gem fountains are a lot of fun, actually, to uh, to work with in this run. You frequently don't even need to really think about them much in normal 120. Because if you have sparks and you're standing in the right place, gem fountains will just kind of home into you. But in sparks list, when you actually need to catch the gems yourself, they're a lot of fun. This one I'm a little more careful on, just because there's a couple of those gems that can fall off a cliff. I don't know why I'm still getting lives, I do not need them. Okay, we'll see what happens. The thing that can maybe make me lose a bunch of time is that an enemy coming up can clip through the floor. Uh, and if it does, then I need to die to respawn it. It'd also be a lot nicer if I would stop missing flame charges. Come on. It's this enemy in here. Oh, we got him! Nice! Okay. Okay. We're still losing time, but not a ton of time. We're losing a considerable amount of time, but not, like upwards of a minute like I was worried might happen. Gem collection on that island was not very good either. Yeah, exactly. Big time loss, not run ending time loss. Still attached to it, though? That's okay. Sure. Um, Dark Passage is a fun level in Sparksless. We're gonna do a trick uh, called Zombie coming up. Uh, once we get to the first dragon, what we want to do is die the same time that we free the dragon. So let's set it up. We got it. Cool. Big Time Loss is the arch rival of boy band Big Time Rush. Hell yeah. So, Zombie has a bunch of effects. Uh, most of them are pretty negative. Some of them are cool, like when those dogs spit you out. Well, it wasn't very obvious there. When you're zombied and those dogs spit you out, they spit you really far for some reason. Um... Hey, Sprutter Dorn. Um, let's see. Bad effects. You can't pause the game, so if you want to leave a level, you need to leave through the end of level vortex. When you're in the home world, you can talk to a balloonist to go to another world, but you cannot go through any level portals. So if you're zombied in a home world, you're just kind of stuck. Um, if you hey, if you fall into water, you can't change your state so the game soft locks. Uh, so all of this is sounding really bad, but there's the one really good side effect, which is when you're zombied, you can't take damage. So I, I zombie in... Uh, in Dark Passage, so that I just don't have to worry about any of the enemies hey. as I'm running through it. Seriously? Um... Twitch is out of control, they really are. Now, obviously, because we can't enter any level portals, we need to get rid of Zombie at some point, right? Uh, the way we do that is by voiding out. That still works. So 
So after this dragon here, I'm gonna jump off a cliff and just fall. And Spyro will, after a few seconds, void out and respawn, and that gets rid of zombie. Yeah, because you don't take damage, you can charge the fireworks just to break them open. It's nice. There are good effects of it. Well, there's the one good effect of it. I used to get rid of zombie after the level ended. Um, but I, after thinking on it for a while, I do think it's better to get rid of it in the level. Because before, I was needing to run to the vortex, so that cost a few seconds. Um, if you're not being careful, it's really easy to fall in the pool outside the level and softlock the game. <laughs> that was another thing, so... In the end, I ended up being comfortable just getting rid of it in the level and dealing with the end of the level well vulnerable. And it's been okay. I think, I think it's been a good idea. Yeah, my friends aren't idiots. They probably got a reason for it. This is right. Here's what I'm gonna do, John. Uh, let's assume that I am going to, to PB here. I've been wanting to, after uh, getting sub 140 in Sparksless, do a normal 120 run. So after this, I'm gonna have dinner, and I'm gonna look at your setup, and I'm gonna leave my game running, and I'm gonna go into loot while eating, and see if I can practice your setup. And then I'll try it in my normal 120 run later tonight. Because I'm curious about it. That is... That is a thing that I have wanted to be able to do in the past. Although, I don't know... I don't know how good I'll be able to get at it. Just because I'm not very good at hitting two buttons quickly. <laughs> My charge glides have always seemed kind of bad, as an example. So I don't know. We'll we'll see. If it is a good setup, though, I'm excited to see it. Should have time save here. Oh my. Oh my, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that is a little rough. I golden two flight levels today, how about that? Oh, hey, cat. You're not the ringleader in jumping off the cliff? Absolutely. On. Good jump. Let's go. I missed that jump three times in my PB, which was a big part of my time loss in this level. So I'm happy I got a first try there. Hey! Okay, it worked out. I didn't think my second flame connected there. That's too close. No, it's not. Never mind. 
Hey, let's not get ourselves killed. Wouldn't that be neat? But I'm playing this super safe. I'm... I've died to those birds a bunch recently. I... I'm just gonna... Take a little bit of time loss and get those slow. Oh. Weird looking birds, we call them turkeys. I want to say Tuval started calling them turkeys. And other people picked it up from that. Hey, Gem, you want to get collected? No, get no. God damn it. <laughs> Weird looking turkeys too. Fair, fair enough. My movement has been super sloppy here. Nice. So I'm almost certainly not going to gold, but Unless something terrible happens coming up, I will save time over the 40 seconds that I lost here in PB. Ooh. Got that cycle for the first time in a long time. Or I don't know, maybe I missed a cycle. Who knows? I'm never sure with that guy. I'm not entirely sure when that balloon nork is loaded in and not. Okay, don't flop and die. Let's go. Nope, I need that. Please. Okay. Okay. We're moving. We're moving. Oh yeah. Close to gold. Perfectly happy with that lofty. Red spring chest. Let's go. Crash the game? Question mark? Nope. Um, if that fireworks chest explodes the same frame you free the dragon, it crashes the game. And it's not that it's, like, super common to crash there. Uh, it's just that there aren't a lot of places to crash the game. So that one gets remembered. It's one of the few spots where, like, if you really wanted to crash the game, you could go there and specifically try for it. Excuse me? need those gems. Jump? Okay. Okay. Movement's a little awkward. But again, as long as I don't have a major, major time loss like last time, should be okay. I don't mind losing 10 or 15 seconds here. I just don't want to lose more than 40 again.
Good. Good, good, good. Good, good. Let's go. <sighs> Didn't bonk. Very nice. I was, I know. <laughs> A lot of bonking ends up happening in this. No, I need that. Please. <laughs> okay, whatever. But, but why? <laughs> what? God damn this game. No. Didn't want to bonk that. Oh my god, Spyro. <laughs> Spyro 2 and 3 are both good, but I, I find that I have a lot more fun with the movement in this one. Hey. I think each of the games have a lot to offer. Ah, I missed it, didn't I? Yeah. No, please. <laughs> oh. God damn it, come on. I know a lot of people really don't like Spyro 3. But I, I think Spyro 3 has the best soundtrack, honestly. It's not 
not that hot a take, John. <laughs> a lot of people really do not... Oh, no, wait, you're... Never mind. You're saying you have a hot take. Never mind. I thought you were saying anyone saying Spyro 3 isn't good had a hot take. I misunderstood. Seriously? Come on. <laughs> Just dropped a significantly hotter take. Oh, that Spyro 3 has the best soundtrack? Really? I don't know. I, I really think it does. Cool. Although, I like weird songs from it that most people don't like. Like, I like the Lost Fleet song. That's probably the hottest take anyone has. I think that's a good, fun song. Oh, it's too bad I had that death. All good, Moog. See you around. Uh, yeah, I agree with that, too. I think the S2 Homeworld musics are very, very good. Uh, I mean the 1.1 Lost Fleet music. Also, Lost Fleet is just one of my favorite levels in the series, which uh, I have met very few people that agree with that. <laughs> Zephyr does have that. Don't get me wrong, I do also think Spyro 3 has some clunkers in the soundtrack. Did I get everything in this room that didn't... I guess I did. Um, I think the bird music is not great. In particular, that one comes to mind. Um, But yeah, I don't know, a lot of my favorite Spyro songs are from Spyro 3. Love Lost Fleet, I love um, Frozen Altars, I love Midnight Mountain. Gem. How is Spyro ever going to get out of his college debt if he doesn't pick up all the gems? Uh, yeah, Magma Kong.
I feel like I miss that red gem often, and I'm always surprised when it turns out I got it. <laughs> nope. Ah, crud. It's fine, I can get it up here. Good. <sighs> Quick reminder that Nasty Nork is not a free level in Sparksless. It's pretty easy to fail the one cycle. Um, please. Pepsi. Okay, be careful, be careful. Good, good. Those red gems at the start are honestly the hardest part. If you, if you manage to get all of those, the rest of it isn't too bad. Gems, excellent, excellent. Cool. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Time to finish a run. and loot. Oh, wait, I can watch John's video right now. Where was that? Gotta go way back up in chat. There it is. Just occurred to me I have time. Oh, that's very loud. Oh, okay, okay, I can get behind that. So you bonk on the wall. low on the wall, sure, sure. No, that makes sense. It reminds me of, um... The way you land from bonking differs depending on how high up you are, and that can have an effect on whether or not some damage boosts work. So, yes, I'm used to height mattering and bonking. I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, okay. I'll I'll give it a try. I'll give it one try because that's all I'll have. Oh heck yeah! Summoning Soul dropped a new video, huh? I need to uh, need to see that. You thought I crashed? Oh my god! Why are you nervous, Muzz? What's up? What's there to be nervous about? Buzz, I need to lose a minute and 16 seconds in loot to not PB. <laughs> I need to mess up everything in loot to not PB, basically. <laughs> I think I'm okay. You know what else? You know what else is fucking cool about this run? I got Lamp Hop. can't believe I'm going to have actual lamp hop in a, a world record speed run. Now it's jinxed. Ah, oh, shit. Well, too bad. <laughs> We're finishing the run anyway.
Magic stairs? Almost. I love those magic stairs. I wish I was better at them. Come on. <laughs> oh, um, John, look away for a second. <laughs> I still, I still have not actually tried to learn this. Nope, still no. I made no effort to practice that. Hey. Oh my god. What? Wait, what? Thief. <laughs> Excuse me? I guess my angle was super weird there, huh? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, let's 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 see if I can get John set up from watching it like once. <sighs> okay, I I kind of see what to do. I kind of do. Okay, good, good. I don't know why I went up that high. Didn't need to. Still good, still good. Go a little lower here than I have been. <gasps> we did it! Okay, okay. So, I might have beefed the 138, but... This should be good now. It's likely gonna be like a... A low 139. It is so nice to be done with this, I say, before finishing the final run. I'm just really trying to jinx it, aren't I? Imagine if I accidentally flew into the vortex there while the camera was turned around. Gems. Give me gems. Good. Yeah, just barely gonna miss it, aren't I? Oh! Let's freaking go! We did it! Oh my god! We actually did it. We got a 138. I've never even seen a 139! Oh my god. Oh, jeez. It's done. I'm done with Sparksless. <laughs> Thank you, Pepsi. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let's, let's take a look back at that run. Let's compare to Summer Best for a second here. Take a look through it, see how it went. As I recall, this was a good Artisans. I got, yeah, I got sub-13 Artisans again. Um, you know what, I'm, real quick, I'm just gonna... Nobody's allowed to, uh, to see the side stuff anymore. Uh, so yeah, sub-13 Artisans, that's good. Um, lost a bunch of time because I died in Dry Canyon, but that's fine. Bad movement in Clifftown was kind of whatever, but good Shimp and good Ice Cavern. Uh, Alpine, it was just mediocre movement, high caves, what did I do in high caves that I messed up on? Oh, that's right, I got picked up by the fairies at one point. Tooper, thank you for the 500 bits and the Tooper PBs. I appreciate it. Wizard Peak was really good, actually. God, and that was with missing that supercharge jump at one point, so, yeah. Crystal Flight and Blowhard were both really good, um... Oh, I was curious about this. So I was 143 off of best segs going into Beastmakers. 157 leaving Beastmakers. Okay. But yeah, between Terrace, Wildflight, Misty, and Treetops, I lost four seconds to best segs. That was 
very, very good. And almost all of that was Terrace. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, lost a bunch of time in Haunted Towers because I'm an idiot. Dark Passage was fine. Golded, Icy, Lofty was good. Jacques was fine. Cove was good enough as far as Cove goes. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this is good. This is a good, good run. Goodness gracious. Gonna... Gonna get a screenshot of these splits. Going to also get a screenshot compared to PB just to have. Oh my god, I'm so happy. That's a very cute toast with the flower crown. Okay, yeah, and then, so, I'm gonna eat some food, and then I'm gonna come back and do a normal 120 run for the first time in a long time. I don't think I've done a normal 120 run since I've been grinding Sparksless, it's probably been a couple of months. So we'll see how that goes, that should be funny. And then tomorrow I'm gonna start DK64. Muzz, did you hear that? Did you hear the good news? Not that I PB'd, that's not the good news. The good news that I'm starting DK64 finally. Oh my god, I'm so happy. No, Golf, I'm not interested in that. I'm pretty sure Deo was joking when he said that. Till you request a honking good time? Heck yeah, heck yeah. Okay, okay. Who is out there that I can raid? 